is News Talk. People living around the Clontarf area in Dublin are being asked to report suspicious behaviour following a recent spate of muggings. Now, our reporter, Barry White, has been to the area to find out more. He's with us. So what's happening, Barry? Hi, Pat. Good morning. Yeah, there has been several muggings in the area in the past few weeks or so, according to the local residents I've been speaking to. Now, in one incident just over a week ago, two teenagers were chased through the Conquer Hill Road area. Now, the perpetrators tried to steal one of the boys' jackets and his mobile phone, but they were scared off when a number of people who live nearby came out of their houses and intervened and then the perpetrators scarpered off themselves. While there was also a reported mugging last week in the St Anne's Park area where a 15 year old boy was left badly shaken. Now he had his jacket and his phone taken off him by a, a group of two or three um, teenagers I'm told and I'm told this young guy was left very very badly traumatised by this. Now these locals told me that they're shocked by this as Clontarf is normally a very safe area. Now nah, those two young lads walking through the area they're approached by two African lads and then um, wanted their coat and a phone and only for a few neighbours intervened the lads will be mugged they're big lads though. I think I said two of them there a few weeks ago like, so they're obviously coming in from different areas so they're not from here? no 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 they go in do what they have to do and they get, get back out and are locals here concerned now that this is no, happening or it's a people are out here look after each other so no not really no it goes on now and again every other place is like but it's not wanted here this is generally a safe area yeah it's safe flood harps usually safe enough like there's no trouble around it like so it's a bit it's a bit unusual all right but it's just a w- once maybe a few instances across the very avenue or other that it's quite enough we all know one another we all know one another and we look out for one another. As you do. I know you hear that in every other area you went at in Dublin. But we are. We are do look out for one another. We're all neighbours. Well, I tell you the truth. I only heard of one. Like you're going out now to do your shopping or whatever. Would you be afraid to walk about here at night time? This no. is a safe area? Yeah. Everyone knows everybody. I know that girl drinking a cup of tea over there, Brady. So it's a safe area as far safe as you're area, concerned? Yeah. yeah. Uh, one young lad, he was uh, stopped at knife, by, at knife point. Um, his jacket and his uh, phone was taken off him. He was very, very badly shaken and still is. Like, he's, uh, he's pretty traumatised over the whole incident. It happened just outside St. Anne's um, about a week and a half ago. And a lot of the young people around the area know about it uh, and are quite, quite aware of this, this, this gang going around doing this. Now, Barry, it's not just an increase in muggings. No, Pat. One local businessman I've been speaking to told me there has been an increase in car break-ins in the Clontarf area recently as well. David Doran owns Marlow Dry Cleaners and he says he caught a couple of teenagers breaking into cars recently. Now, David showed me the CCTV footage of this on his mobile phone and I think the most shocking thing for me was this was in broad daylight. These young guys are walking along and you could see them trying to open, in, open doors of cars so they're obviously checking to see if there's any cars open. If there's a car open, then they go in and pick whatever's in there. Um, and David Doran says the young guys responsible just don't seem to care if they're caught or not. Well, in the last sort of six months, the, the levels of crime have gone up, and what we found is it's daytime crime that um, people and it's opportunists. They come and they check the cars, see if they're locked, and maybe one in twenty isn't locked, and they can take whatever they can. And uh, you know, it's it's definitely on the rise. You know, even in the, the local shops are reporting more and more like daytime sort of slash and grab type of thing. Now, there's a number of young guys who were arrested recently, but they were arrested because you caught them on CCTV. Yeah, what happened was, we know we noticed them hanging around, it was about 11 o'clock in the morning, they were checking out cars, and they went up Hollybrook Road, uh, I followed them up Hollybrook Road, uh, I confronted them and I said, listen, I know what you're up to, um, and they said, oh, we're going for a walk, and we're walking with my girlfriend, I said, well, don't be walking around the back lanes, walk on the promenade. So I came back down, I rang the police, and as the police arrived, they'd broken into a car, they were sitting in a car, and the police caught them red-handed, they were actually inside the BMW. So, you know, they, they're, they're blatant, they, they, you know, even when you tell them, like, we know what you're doing. They how concerning it. is that, that they are so brazen, because it just seems like they don't they care? They just get away with it, like, what's, what's, they go to, they spend an hour in the police station and they let out, like, like what's, you know, it's like, it's a business for them, you know, like, they're not, you know... What do they get? An afternoon in court and they let go? Like it doesn't seem. What's the what's to stop them? Like, do you want to see more guarded patrols in the Clontarf area now? The guards are doing the rest. You know, we need more guards. As I say, crime is on the increase. Like we need more. You know, guards visible on the on the street. You know, because it's it's an ongoing battle. 
Now, you've been speaking to a local councillor. Yeah, Pat, I've also been speaking to local councillor Damien O'Farrell. He's based in Clontarf, but he's saying the Clontarf area is not unique here when it comes to muggings. He says he knows of many other cases in the likes of Malahide, Port Marnock, Hoth. So he's saying this isn't unique, and he says, of course, this happens in the inner city um, every week, every day. Um, but he is also uh, similar to what David Doran says there. He says we need more guardy in the streets. No, it is absolutely, it's very concerning, but I don't think any area is immune. This is happening all over the city, particularly uh, young youths are being st- being relieved of their phones, uh, assaulted, so it's happening all over the city, and this, this area, is, I suppose, is no, is no different. But what thing people really need everywhere is more guardy on the beat. That's what people want, and people need to also to talk about the victims more, you know, because um, I think the bail laws and all don't, don't certainly don't suit the victims, and it's about the victims because these these type of crimes, some people might think they're petty around that, but they have an everlasting um, effect on youth if he's relieved of his phone or assaulted. So I think there should be more talked about about the victims of these crimes. As a councillor here in the local area, what water constituents come in and telling you here? Are, are they concerned about this? This area would be no different, as I said, from from anywhere else, Clontarf, Marino. It'd be similar. There is there's some house break-ins at the moment. There is, but there's no area. There's no specific area that, that I would identify that, that's, any, that's any worse than the other. So more guarded patrols as far as you're concerned is the only way to deal with this? Well it's one of the only ways. It's a big start. More guardy, more guardy on the beat. Particularly this, this type of crime with youths and, and taking phones and all that. Youths, young people, innocent people should be able to go anywhere they like at any time of day around make, doing their own business, mind their own business. But these are young, innocent kids. They're coming along and being pushed around, being traumatised, taking their phones by just Yobbish youths, you know, and, and it's not it's not good enough. Easy targets there, and pretty clear message from the councillor. What are the guard they're saying? Well, there seems to be a bit of confusion on whether there will be extra guarded patrols in the Clontarf area or not. Now, a statement released by the Clontarf Residents Association claims a guardie have told them that there will be more patrols as because of a result of these muggings. But when I contacted the Garda Press Office yesterday, I was told there are not any extra patrols in the Clontarf area. There may be increased patrols around St Anne's Park and the Conquer Hill Road area, but that's just because guardie are concentrating on these areas more than other areas. Now, guard he also told me they are aware of three muggings in Clontarf recently uh, and two of them, phones and items of clothing were stolen, stolen while in another attempted mugging the perpetrators got away empty handed. Now Gardy also want to play down that all these incidents were carried out by the one gang from Balbriggan which a lot of people I spoke to yesterday were claiming that this gang are coming from Balbriggan. Taking the train down. Taking and the train down and getting off in Clontarf. Now Gardy are playing that down and they told me that the three muggings that they are investigating they're investigating them all separately Barry White thank you very much